Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys my all new list of 10 top Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8 through 8.1 untethered Pangu jailbreak for all iDevices. All right, so starting off, there are a few things I need to preface with before we get straight into this video. And if you want to skip through part of it, then of course there will be an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube to skip ahead. And with that said, first and foremost, you do need to be jailbroken to take advantage of any of the tweaks outlined in today's video. So if you have yet to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and you're running iOS 8 through 8.1, then just be sure to check out either of my recent untethered jailbreak tutorials. I will have links to two of them on the screen now via annotation form. The first one is an in-depth guide for Windows-based PC users, and the second one is tailored to Mac owners, both of which highlight the latest untethered Pangu jailbreak utility. Again, it's in a one-click form. It's extremely simple, and if you have yet to jailbreak, I definitely recommend doing so now because, of course, if you don't already know, Apple is prepping their iOS 8.1.1 Pangu jailbreak patching firmware for release to the masses. And once that's issued, it will no longer be possible to jailbreak the latest public firmware. So with that said, again, information for everything can be found on the screen now via annotation form. And if you're on the main page for this video, you can find it on my channel. So just be sure to click my channel name down below to be taken to my channel to find everything detailed there. Now, I also wanted to state that while some of these tweaks will be available for free through Cydia, others will be pre Premium, meaning you do have to pay for them, just like premium apps from the App Store. That's just how it is. Some of the more extensive and cooler packages are paid or are premium. And if you guys want even more free tweaks after watching this video, be sure to follow it up with my other recent Top City of Tweaks guide, and I will have a link to that on the screen now, again via an annotation form, or you can find it on my channel. And I will also have a detailed and comprehensive list of every single tweak outlined in today's video down below in the more be sure to click on the link. It's a post on my site. And of course, you can find a written synopsis of every single tweak there. In addition to how much said tweak costs and if it's free, it will state that said tweak is free. So with that said, let's go ahead and continue and jump right into this. All right, and up first in no particular order, we have Apex 2. And you may have noticed it at the beginning of this video. I kind of teased it. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite tweaks. And essentially what it allows you to do is add sub apps to other apps. So as you can see here for the August app, I have the Pebble app set up as a sub app. And when I swipe up on August, it does reveal Pebble and I can tap into it to open it. And if I go back, for instance, I can just tap on to August and it opens August. So essentially that's how sub apps work and it allows you to better organize your device. It's much easier than folders in my opinion. It's faster, it's slicker, and it's just easier to set up. So for instance, if I were to swipe up on the note app here, you'll notice that I do have four pluses, one on each side of the app. Now these pluses will move depending on which position the icon is actually in on your device's springboard. So for instance, if I were to swipe up on videos here, I get two over on the left-hand side and two on the bottom. That's of course because I don't have room on the top or on the right-hand side. And like I stated previously, it will change depending on the orientation of the actual icon or depending on the position of the icon on your springboard. So as you can see here for Spotify, for instance, I have one on the top, one on the bottom, and two on the left-hand side. And now adding an app, to the sub app is extremely simple. All you have to do is just tap on one of the pluses and it gives you related apps at the top if the tweak determines that there are any related apps to the specific main app that you had selected. And then from there, you can tap on any of the apps to create a new sub app. You can also search for it just by tapping up at the top there and looking for the app's name. Now it's extremely simple. It does give you a really clean and great look. It kind of looks like a folder in my opinion, and it's absolutely awesome. All the other apps are organized via alphabetical order, but let's say I wanted to add Beats Music. So all I'd have to do is just search for Beats Music if it didn't bring it up at the top there in the related section. So let's go ahead and tap on it. And as you can see, I've now established a sub app. 
and I can just swipe up on the icon and it accesses Beats Music. By default, you can actually swipe down too, and then from there it will actually bring up the sub menu. But because I didn't want it to conflict with Spotlight, I have it set up to just swipe up on the icon. And then to access any of the sub apps from then on, you will actually swipe up and then tap into the sub app. And then to access the main app, of course, all you have to do is just tap on it. So I have it set up for Safari here. And as you can see, just tapping on it opens up Safari as you would expect. And we do get a few settings with Apex too. Nothing much though. So let's go ahead and go into the settings pane for it, configuration. And then from there, you have a few basic options. As I previously mentioned, you can set how you want to access the sub apps, whether you want to swipe up, down, both, or actually double tap on the app. And then you can also set it so that you can access Spotlight simply by tapping on the status bar. And then of course, you can also have it close sub apps at launch, aggregate the badge count, and you can toggle the creation of new sub apps. So once you have everything set up, you can toggle on or off the option to allow the creation of new sub apps. And that's Apex too. It's incredibly simple. And as I previously stated, it's actually just better than folders. And it's a really great way to organize your device and to get applications that are similar onto the same page without actually having to search for them through Spotlight or find them on your device. Now, next we have Spring to My 3 and you actually may have already noticed the effects of Spring to My 3. It essentially gives you a plethora of customizable springboard and UI or user interface related options. Seriously, the sheer number of settings can quickly become overwhelming. In a good way though. With Spring to My 3 you'll receive dozens of choices for your device's animations, app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, notification center, pages, and the status bar. So as you can see here inside of the settings app under Spring to My 3, I have absolutely so many different options. All of these are the options that I previously outlined. So again, we do have the animations. We can speed them up if you want, change the lock animation, change the page animation, and that's just getting started. So let's bring it back over here. And as you can see, I even have options for icons. So I can do so many different things with Spring to My 3, it's absolutely insane. I'm not going to go over everything, but I am just going to briefly show you guys what I have set up for Spring to My 3. So as you can see, when I actually exited out of the settings app, I had a really fast animation time there that is thanks to Spring to My 3. Also the curvature of the dock, as well as the addition of an extra icon inside of the dock, and the transparent background of the dock are all thanks to Spring to My 3. Even when swiping up into a sub menu via Apex 2, it maintains that curvature that was added to the dock again through Spring to My And let me show you how it works with a quick setting that I can modify without having to respring. So inside of Spring to My 3, I'm going to go to Control Center and I'm going to add a background color. So now that I have it toggled on, I can go ahead and select my color and let's just bring it up. So let's make it lighter so that it's more noticeable. And now accessing control center, as you can see, it's now green, which is the color that I selected. Let's bring that down a little bit so that it's less apparent. And there you go. I don't even have to respring. But for some of the options, you will have to respring and Spring to My 3 makes it incredibly simple. All you have to do is just go back to the main page for Spring to My and then tap on respring. Up next, we have Send Delay, which is a free tweak that allows for the modification of the amount of time it takes for a message to send via the Messages app, enabling the user to quickly stop a message if they notice a mistake. So inside of Settings, we have options for Send Delay here. So as you can see, we can bring up the time that it takes to actually send the message. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to open the Messages app just to show you guys how it works. So let's go ahead and send a message. I'm just going to type in Test and then hit Send. And I do have Stop for the amount of time that I had previously set inside of Settings. Settings. So as you can see, let's go ahead and just tap it and send and let's wait for it. And eventually it will send. Again, it does depend on the settings that you actually set via the settings app. So here we are back inside of send delay and it does apply instantly so you don't have to respring. So let's go ahead and test that again. And I know a lot of people were actually asking for this feature. It is definitely useful for some people, which is why it made this list. Next up, we have a turnum, which is a premium tweak that replaces the default iOS home screen interface that we've all come to know and love over the years with one that's heavily inspired by the all new Apple Watch, which is set to be released in early 2015. 
And if you guys want additional information on a turnum, I recommend navigating to my dedicated written and video coverage on the tweak itself. And I will actually have a link via an annotation if you're on the desktop version of YouTube right now to my dedicated Aeternum video, which again, I highly recommend watching as I go into depth on the tweak itself. There's actually a lot to it. But really quick, just to show you guys how cool a turnum really is, I can zoom out on all of my icons here and quickly zoom in and actually navigate to and open any of them. And it's definitely a good tweak that's capable of showcasing just how powerful a jailbroken iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch truly is. Moving on, we have UI Rotation 8, which adds new activator options to allow for the quick toggling of a specific device orientation rather than always having to fiddle with the lock setting inside of Control Center. So if you're like me and you like keeping your device's orientation locked, but you want to be able to quickly move it into a different orientation. So like for instance, if you're browsing inside of Safari and you want it inside of landscape mode, then you can quickly do so with this new tweak. It's awesome and you can set it up through this settings app. So going back to the home screen here, let's actually go ahead and activate it now. And as you can see inside of the settings pane for UI rotation eight, you can set up an activator action. And for more details on activator, I recommend checking out my video on the tweak itself. So I'm not going to go over setting up a custom activator action. Again, that can be found in that separate video. Now moving on, we have the next tweak, which actually builds upon UI rotation eight. I don't have it in installed on my device because I have Spring to my 3, but let's go ahead and open up Cydia. So it works perfectly in conjunction with UI Rotation 8 as it disables the rotation lock icon in the status bar, which again, I have Spring to my 3, and that can accomplish the same effect. So in using these two tweaks in synchronous with one another, it allows for quick and convenient rotations while also freeing up the status bar. It's absolutely great. And with that said, let's go ahead and move on to our next tweak. It's called Native Zoom. I don't have it installed because that actually goes into the next tweak, but let's go ahead and detail native zoom. It essentially adds iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 plus home screen zoom options for unsupported devices. So if you prefer the iPhone 6 Plus's zoomed mode, for instance, this is a great tweak at an even better price. It is available for free. So of course it does add the default zoom options, which can be found inside of the regular settings app and then display. And now next up, we have another tweak that's actually pretty similar. It's called Little Brother. It's from the creator of Activator, and essentially it takes it a step further. It adds not only a small zoom option, but it allows the home screen to go into landscape as well as the lock screen. So if you want more options and more control over your device's zoom factor, then Little Brother might be the tweak for you. It is premium, however, so keep that in mind when considering it. Next, we have another great free tweak, and it's an option for jailbreakers who either aren't interested in all of Spring to my 3's options or who don't wanna pay for the tweak, but are still interested in a package that allows for the creation of custom carrier names. So what I mean by that, for instance, is if I didn't want my iPhone 6 Plus here to say AT&T, and instead I wanted it to say something like ICU ID, then I'd install this tweak. It's called Carrier NM. So let's go ahead and type that in now, Carrier NM. And it allows for the customization of your device's carrier name through the settings app after it's installed. But again, because I have Spring to my 3, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and set a custom carrier name. All right, so kind of looping back to Spring to my 3, it can accomplish the exact same thing as Carrier NM. So it's just one less tweak that you have to have installed if you do happen to have Spring to my 3. Again, you can set up the custom carrier name. As you can see, I have it set up to ICU ID. If I just wanted it to be ICU, it's as simple as just deleting it or changing it to whatever I want. As you can see, it does change accordingly without actually having to fully respring your device. So Spring to my 3 is great. This just furthers that point. If you don't want it though, Carrier your NM is the tweak that you should install. Next up, we have a tweak called Roomy, and it's best to actually show the screenshot inside of Cydia for the tweak. Essentially, it adds more room to your device's lock screen. So it's an awesome tweak that's free that enlarges the device's lock screen notification area by making better use of the device's screen real estate to display more notifications and it works extremely well with the little brother package previously detailed. 
All right, now that's it for this video, guys. Some awesome tweaks outlined in today's video. Not all of them may be for you, but I'm hoping that I helped some of you out. And if I did, be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And once your comments have been posted, if you're interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices, be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or just freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. If you're on iOS 8, after tapping download, press the home button, open the app, and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and use said points to redeem the aforementioned prizes. And for eight additional tweaks, as I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, I suggest watching my previous detailed top city of tweaks list for iOS 8 through 8.1 and the Pangu Untethered Jailbreak, which again can be found on the screen now via an annotation form or on my channel. So just be sure to click on my channel name and also click that subscribe button if you have yet to be, to be notified every time I release new videos. And if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering things like jailbreaking and jailbreak related topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.